and this is what I use for recordings. But, but I have an i7 PC with like 16 gig of RAM. It may it may be different for you. What's happening guys, my name is Alex and welcome to a new OBS tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys, in the last video of today, I'm going to show you guys how to set up and use OBS for Windows 10. So let's say you want to upgrade from 7 to 8 or from 8 to 10 or something and you don't know like is it all going to be the same. I'm going to show you guys like how do you set up and use OBS with Windows 10 as my operating system. So I would say, I would say, let, I would say let's jump straight into the video. So the first thing you see when you boot up, you know, OBS in um, Windows 10, it actually doesn't look like really different. I mean, I'm just going to go through with everything that you have in Windows 10. So I'm just going to go to file. And as you guys can see, everything is still there, you know, as usual, like in Windows 7 or, you know, Windows 8 and settings. I'm click on settings. And as you guys can see, I have Windows 10, so I can show you guys what it is like. You can choose like your presets here. You can do that right here. You can choose your language and then you could go to encoding and here you can fill in your, your bit rate, you know, for streaming or right, like recording. The broadcast settings is actually like where you want to save the file. And if you're going to stream, you want to fill in your stream key and all that. You just want to do that in here. That's really actually really simple. That's basically, you know, like the old, old OBS right here in the video tab. You can see like, you know, you can choose your graphics card and you can downscale, you know, the resolution if you want to. And you can put the FP. You the FPS to 60 or like 50 or 30 the audio tab you can select your microphone and also you can boost your desktop sound so if your desktop sound is really low or your microphone is really low I've just always on two because it works best for me then the hotkeys this is actually where you can choose like if you press a button to start recording stop recording mute your microphone you know start start streaming stop streaming you know all that kind of stuff you can configure that in here in this window as you guys can see it's really simple and also for the audio like push to talk mute your microphone and everything so basically and in advanced here are actually like a few details you need to have like on, in the right settings in order to you know stream on a good quality and make sure you have no lag and everything is great so make sure you have everything like this this is how i record and this is what I use for recordings, but, but I have an i7 PC with like 16 gig of RAM. It made it, it may be different for you. So that's actually pretty, you got to see that for yourself. What do you have on what specs and what you perceive can handle in a quick sync browser? I don't do anything actually in that the browser. I also don't and the microphone noise gate here. You can choose like, you know, the level you, uh, of sound you, your microphone needs to hear to start recording. So let's say you're talking like you're whispering and you can set, you know, the noise gate to a, like a certain amount. Like if you only like talk and not like whisper, it will not cat. It will not catch it. So like you need to talk loud enough, but it depends on, you know, where you put the thresholds. So that's basically what you can do there. And then the scene switcher is actually, you can choose like change scenes. So that's actually really simple. I don't know. You can al also configure, you know, your actual scenes. You can also switch between them and it's really easy. It doesn't look different different than you know Windows 7, 8, you know, or 10. It's all the same actually. It's really nice that they have changed that they didn't change like the layout for certain operating systems like Windows 7, 8 or 10. Everything is still there. Everything is fine. You don't need to panic. Everything is still there guys. You can upgrade to Windows 10 if you want to. It's possible that you need to you know make your scenes again. It's gonna be pain in the ass but it's that's basically how it is or I'm not sure or it can stay. I'm not sure guys don't hold me to it. That is basically Windows 10. That's how you configure it. You can just use everything you everything you once you configure or streaming and you re recording and that's basically how simple it is that's what some of this guys obs didn't really change actually when you uh like switch to um windows 10 thank you guys for the continued support i'll catch you guys tomorrow for two freaking sony vegas tutorials so that's this for the video guys thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for the support and i'll see you guys tomorrow i'm gonna give you guys six tips for beginner drivers my name's ldhh official as yeah. always yeah and i upload one video every day of the week except on saturday and sunday i'm just gonna start streaming live first question for today so that's gonna be through this hall it's gonna be pretty dark so we have the door feature your calendar your question and i'll see you guys in the next video